What's going on guys, it's Shu here, bringing you another review on Don Maki. This episode was more than anything informational and giving us a lot of backstory and explaining Dick's so like his whole purpose, I guess you could say. And so, I guess it was more of a Dick's episode and we get to see more of the Xenos uh, monsters and mostly that was the focus of this whole episode. Uh, but we started off with this crazy old man at least that's what it looks like just digging away and we get to see the context of this later on but we have the Ganesh family actually trying to stop these monsters uh, we see how everyone's rampaging I was honestly quite surprised to see Lid and I forgot her name the bird lady acting we see them acting like monsters they are angry uh, and so we actually see what looked to be like the one of the two main people that we saw uh, attacked by Rania's uh, poison before they die, I guess, with actually telling them where they were at. And so some of them were heading that direction, but a lot of them were actually going to continue fighting. And Bell's there. And he actually reveals himself to Lid. Lid actually tries to talk to him. Well, bell tries to talk to lid excuse me uh he wasn't having it we actually get to hear him being honest about how he feels about everything that's happened and he's like you know they killed our kin and yes we are just monsters so why are you even here you know this is revenge basically like and obviously it, it's not the way to go uh, there's no way of bringing them back at this point so you know it, it's a bit frustrating so that's why they want revenge they they've hurt some people possibly even killed obviously we didn't see that but we see also with Ryu and Aisha being there as well they were hidden but then they kind of revealed themselves and were, like I I'm wondering if maybe Ryu might actually have feelings of her own to be so involved you know normally she wouldn't be but she has a connection to the whole what happened to the Evilus, which is what the Ecolos family has. They have that kind of connection to what's going on to that. And in fact, we hear this backstory with Herms. Thankfully, he's been very active. Even though we don't see him much throughout the episodes, we see when we do, we see him actually being more involved and actually talking to, you know, Ecolos and about the whole situation. And we find out that the old man that we saw at the beginning of this episode was actually the person uh, Daedalus who's created all these other things and he was basically gone insane like he wasn't he snapped basically and trying to dig and dig and dig which is something that we'll see later on in this episode you know this whole explanation of what was going on back and back then so it's crazy how like things even from back then are still the reason why they are now like the dungeon and babel and the, the town of orario you're just all these things are because of this person you know all this was going on and so going back to ryu and bell we see how she tried to stop him but handed him some interesting things that she had with her where he takes along luckily you know he, he meets up with fells and fells sees a little object this thing where i guess he has a clue as to what it was and he's able to then go through with fells and we see them arriving where the monsters were at they arrive they start freeing some of them and then dick's making his appearance we actually see him showing up and you know at first talking and then he brings out his arm i guess his little crew coming out as well but bell then shows up we see him uh, arriving at t at the right time and with the explanation that we got from Herms he then reveals his eyes and reveals that he himself is a is a descendant of Daedalus and that everything that he that, that he is in like this area was something that he had started and they were going to continue it throughout the generation so it's crazy that this was something that was started a long time ago and it's been ongoing for who knows when like it, it's been 
generations now and now we have dicks continuing on with the blood eye which honestly is kind of cool a cool little design on his eye like i it's like a deformed something like that so we get to see you know him showing this and get this whole explanation and the object that we saw fells and bell have was actually an eye that was gorged out from a descendant used as kind of like a way to get through these places which is kind of creepy and kind of cool at the same time but then we start seeing this all-out brawl going out and we have dicks going up against bell which will probably be the fight that we'll be seeing most of this episode coming up but we also get to see what was going on with the hestia family we see them they're actually trying to get some information they didn't do much but they did make their appearance and we also had the little appearance from zenith i believe that was uh lily's old uh, master i guess you could say or god and revealing about this whole information as well so you know kind of some detective work going on there on their end and then at the very end we see Weiss. i mean wine excuse me uh, making her appearance so she's trapped but guys that is it for me i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like as always stay safe and i'll catch you later